back in the studio, I'm happy to uh, have as our guests now today our two, you ready? The Associate Executive Directors. That's what that AED stood for. Welcome to Brad, oh, let's see, Andrus. Yes, ma'am. And Melissa Robes Robeson. Yes, thank you. Um, you. You did that well. Well, uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, so, you two have been very busy since you came on board here because you came at a time when we're doing a lot of activity at this community. So, what, are, what can we expect from you today? Yeah, I tell you, there are, you're absolutely right. There are a number of initiatives that we're currently working on, and then you throw that in with all the repositioning and the life cycle renovations, and it will be keeping us very, very busy. Yeah. Um, so it's a, it's a good time to be at Greenspring. It's an exciting time to be at Greenspring, and so I'm looking forward to it all. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little overwhelming Think at times. Think of all the experience you're gaining. That's right. That's <laughs> absolutely. Right. Yeah. So, and do you feel likewise, Melissa? Absolutely, absolutely. This is a very exciting time for the residents here at Green Spring, especially this week. We start our first moves uh, into Dogwood Commons mm -hmm. later this week, so that's very exciting oh, and good. a long-awaited yeah. opportunity for us to, to continue the work and the journey there. So there's just a lot of things going on from renovations and uh, projects that are refresh or um, transitions. Um, and things, but there's also the My Erickson that we'll be launching this year for our residents to have easier access um, to all the activities and the various things going on on campus. Yeah, uh, Lynn Keefe spoke of that, uh, uh, touched on it uh, when I hosted her a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that. Yeah, our hope is that it'll make life easier here. And when do you think that'll go up uh, for us? So our, the application, which is the, the app itself, if mm -hmm. you will, on the various um, access points that you can utilize, it should be in March, late March. Okay. And then we plan to launch it with our residents in April. So the, it'll go live in the March time frame. We'll have our resident trainers partner with us mm -hmm. on using it first. So they're the first access point for us to give us feedback. And then mm -hmm. we plan to roll it out later on in the April time frame to everybody else. And one can access that from whichever device one wishes. So it, there's a variety of yeah. access points. You can, a desktop, laptop, a Kindle, um, an iPad, and then of course a smartphone. So mm -hmm. there's various um, options okay. for accessing it. Good. Good. Well, that's, so that's kind of the first uh, major thing we're going to get? I think, I think? mean, I, I think if, if you, if I think through it, I think one of the first major things that we'll be transitioning to is Dogwood, which is happening this week, and it's about four to six week process for the various communities or neighborhoods to move. And then we'll continue to work on My Erickson with the go live of the app in March okay. and April. Okay. And then simultaneously, all of the repositioning work and the various uh, refreshes will be going on as well, starting sometime in the February, March time frame as well. So lots going on this first quarter. Yeah, Melissa, you, uh, I think uh, someone told me, and perhaps it was Lynn, that um, you were the kind of um, guru about the, the, tech, uh, the tech field. Am I correct, or are you as good as she is? <laughs> I don't know that I'm as good in the tech field. Project <laughs> management, yes. Tech field, I'm learning as I go along. I know enough to be dangerous, but that's I about see. it. <laughs> oh, well, maybe that's what they were talking about. Yeah. Anyway, so what are you Gosh, focused uh, on? You know, one of the other initiatives, um, you know, that is really happening in the first quarter is Welcome Home. And so we've talked about this mm -hmm. Welcome Home process. Um, you know, it's really a nice way to welcome new residents um, you know, mm -hmm. to the campus. Uh, we'll have a, a representative that, you know, maybe from resident life, maybe ge from general services, mm -hmm. but in addition to, you know, the salesperson mm -hmm. or the retirement counselor and, you know, member of the sales team working with a new resident coming in, they will introduce early in the process, um, you know, someone from resident life mm -hmm. um, who will kind of take them to move day. And yeah. then at some point, uh, we're now you know talking with the greeters, um, mm -hmm. and you know that group of residents will then take the baton from that resident life person. So it's mm -hmm. really sales to resident life 
to the green spring greeter so mm -hmm. that we make sure that you know that that transition to the community is as successful as mm -hmm. we can possibly make it and as streamlined as we can possibly yeah. make it yeah. so uh, so that's you know one of the big initiatives right. um, that but that's we're coming out of now. resident life isn't it primarily, primarily um, you know yeah. Trisha Hawkins who's our right. new resident life director and is wonderful has done such a great job She's wonderful and yeah. she she has a great you know strong team mm -hmm. um, and so uh, they will spearhead most most of it, but we're going to bring in, you know, folks from other departments uh, that can also participate Having in welcoming. Having come when I did, yes. I was fortunate enough to have a friend who lived here already, who moved in the week it opened, so that I didn't suffer yeah. the uh, shock, uh, yeah. would you say, of suddenly being in a new place sure. with new people. And so I imagine it is a needed um, a service. Yeah, and having that resident interaction is really the key, you know, to a successful, mm -hmm. you know, move. Uh, but we also know there's lots of questions and lots of things to kind of navigate through. And so we just thought it would be nice to pair that person with mm -hmm. someone from operations uh, mm -hmm. just to answer all those initial questions and then really make sure that, um, you know, that resident interaction happens, you know, within the first, mm -hmm. you know, week or even, you know, two weeks of somebody moving. Right. So, yeah. Right. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's, now, did that? Uh, where did that originate from? Corporate? Well, um, you know, we. I think it is a an initiative. You know that other Erickson communities right. have adopted, and so, um, you know, through that process, um, you know, we now are standardizing the pro. You know, the okay. program across okay. all the campuses. So, uh, what's nice though is. Uh, the Green Spring, you know, of course, will put its own personal stamp mm -hmm. on it, and sure. you know, we have the autonomy and the flexibility to really make the program well, our that's own. That's really important. It is really important because every community has a little different nuance. So, yeah. I don't want us to get away from time. I see you have a little list there. Are we covering it? Yes, <laughs> oh, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I okay. glanced at it a minute ago, and I think we're good. You can even pick it up and look at it. Oh. You don't even have to. I'm just good. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's just, it's, it's ingrained in the memory. But in case I forget, it's there. Sure. Well, sure. I noticed you have some beautiful decorations here, and I, I even wore a tie that matches. Today, oh my! So yes. That, that wasn't by design. That was just a happenstance. So it's February, so it's pink or red. Yeah, right? exactly. You know, when you two presented at last week's um, workshop or whatever yeah, that was yeah. called, I forget, but anyway, you did such a good job. The contrast between the two of you and, you know, um, and just now even you mentioning this, this there's yeah. such a contrast in, in the two. That's good. Yeah. I like that. I think I appreciate it is. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's got the red pants. I've got the pink there tie. You go. See, it's, you know. There you go. Well, um, so are you feeling like this is, like are you looking to go work at another, uh, one of the Erickson communities eventually? Yeah. I, is this kind of a stepping stone job? I, I shouldn't probably have said that. I, you know, I would say to a certain extent, you know, mm -hmm. yes, um, both Melissa and I, and I don't want to, you know, speak for Melissa, but, um, you know, obviously I want to stay you know, with the organization for my mm -hmm. career. I mean, I, I started with Erickson. Mm -hmm. I've come back to Erickson now here at Greenspring. And so, yes, I would like to spend my whole career, you know, mm -hmm. working mm -hmm. with an Erickson community. Uh, and there's no better, you know, community than Greenspring. I love working with Chandra. I love working with Melissa and the team. And so, you know, I'm just coming to work every day and I know there's a lot that needs to be done here at Greenspring. And so that's my focus. Mm -hmm. uh, but where that takes me, you know, I don't know. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. You feel like, and I would say likewise. My background is nursing. Many of the residents know that I'm a registered nurse, and I've had a, an exceptional career path in in hospital operations and acute care services, mm -hmm. project management, leadership, those kind of things. And this, to me, is really an opportunity for me to round out what I would say my experience of continuum of care to understand that because most individuals I've engaged with have been sick or ill or needing oh. care and services. So this is that other side for me to get some exposure to and learn. Where, where I go from here is probably unknown, but I think it's just a great opportunity for me to be here and to serve mm -hmm. and to get experience in a different arena from in, in the healthcare. Well, side of over things. time, I have seen, because I said I yeah, lived here yeah. all these years. Sure. Uh, I have seen the associates move on either to the director here or, yeah. or um, 
you know, it's a nice be thing. tapped by one of the other, uh, right when we wanted them here, <laughs> and now they're gone off, you know. Yeah. So we're going to keep a tight rein on the two of you. Oh, very good. Very good. Well, we certainly have enough work to do that we, yeah. we would like to see all of these things through ourselves yeah. Yeah, and I'm be sure. on point for that moving forward. Consistency well, is important. And that's an accomplishment uh, to makes you feel like I made a difference Correct. there, you know, yeah. to see it through. So anyway, okay, so what, anything else? Yeah, I mean, one, one other thing that I should mention is, you know, we talked about closing the cafe yes. uh, in town center on the 15th. It looks like, you know, we're, we're still going through the permit process. I, I don't want to close, you know, the cafe on the 15th if it's uh, not gonna- If you don't need to. If, yeah. Yep, if we're not gonna start work right away. It also gives us a little bit of time to get the, the kitchen completion. Okay. Um, you know, done, and so, you know, I'm not going to give you a date, but it's not going to be the 15th. Um, it could be, uh, it's going to be, in fact, f further away than that. Yeah, you know, I would even say, you know, we're probably going to go into March, uh, but a lot more communication, you know, about that. Um, well, yes, and really, we need to know. I know, yeah. and so I'm trying to give you all as much information as yeah. soon as I possibly can. Yeah. Um, so I was, you know, talking with the, the development team on Friday, uh -huh. and so w we are not going to close the cafe on the 15th. But um, anyway, so more information to come. I have a couple meetings today to talk with the computer club, and mm -hmm. um, I was actually talking with the pottery group, you know, on Friday. So uh, it's just, you know, it's constantly, it's fluid, it's constantly evolving, mm -hmm. but um, I will make a commitment to give you all the most up-to-date information absolutely, that I can. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I would say both projects are very fluid. Um, and while Brad is representing and supporting Town Center um, and all of the work there, I'm primarily overseeing the Village Square Correct. Um, refresh. And I would say we are sticking with the 15th. And again, just to remind everybody, we chose the 15th because that was a critical day for us to give our residents and resident committees and groups um, the opportunity to move their meetings, et cetera, to different locations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that we could commence the work once we finally get the permits in hand. Mm -hmm. So we needed to really choose a date in a different way, in a different fashion than, you know, Brad and the work he's doing at Town Center and closing things that are, are you know, the cafe and things. So sure. we are continuing with the fi date of the 15th. Um, with um, making sure that all the resident groups and committees that were meeting in various rooms at the town center, um, I mean at uh, Village Square, move forward. So I'll be uh, bringing more information um, okay, around good. timing and, and how things are being facilitated and definitely have been working with the players and the group about having access to the theater and moving that mm -hmm. forward. So lots of exciting things going on there, but the time frames for each project are, are a little different. And I like your different word impacts. fluid, uh, yes. because that, that really does say it. Listen, um, I know I've been getting a signal. So <laughs> thank you very much for coming. I know you have a lot more, but the big, the big chief thing is to just keep us informed. Yeah, absolutely. So we don't have to live on rumor or, or she said or he said, you know. Yes. Thank you very much for coming today. Well, thank you.